Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. You already know what it is. You already know what I'm here to talk about. The title says it all. I'm going to try to get all of this done in one take. But if you don't want to listen to me talk and you'd rather read up on it, the link will be in the description. I'm here to talk about NBA 2K12 Developer Insight number 5, which is my player mode. Now, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Chase Money for the beat, and I definitely want to give a big shout out to my man Jason, aka Up for Discussion, for throwing this link at me personally. You know, we were talking on Skype, and he was like, "Yo, my man, did you see the did you see the link?" And I'm like, "What link?" He's like, "Yo, man, my player mode is already out. They got everything you need to know out already." So I'm like, "Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go see it." So let's get it started off. All right, first of all, this is how my player mode is gonna work this season. What they're going to do is they're not going to have the draft combine and they're not going to have the summer league. What they're going to do is put you in a rookie showcase plus pre-draft interviews. Oh my god, this means that you only get to play in one game and this one game will determine how well you'll do in the draft. So if you drop 50 points, you know you got to be going like top five. Now also, the pre-draft interviews, it's like the coach gets to come in and just, you know, sit down with you and talk to you and see where your head is at. Yo, this, yo, this is an amazing addition. This means that if you, like, you know, if Larry Brown come into the office and say, yo, um, we feeling you and everything, you know, we, we got a point guard right now, but, you know, if you're willing to come over and be a guy off the bench, we, we really we really could appreciate that. You'd be like, no, nah, man, I don't want that. I want to be a starter. You can do that. It's your opinion. Also, another thing that they got, the draft. The draft has a new addition called the mock draft. You can actually see yourself like statted up right next to somebody else. You know, like say it's another guard in the draft, you know, shooting guard that is coming from a good team and you think, you know, maybe you may be better or you're not. You can actually see how you guys stat up. Now also that's like that's like, you know, seeing seeing yourself when you play Madden or something and you see like the other players and how they're doing. That's that's a big addition. Also, now the NBA draft. What they're gonna do with the uh, David Stern, they're gonna record all of his audio for the first round. So that means you'll hear David Stern the entire round. Instead of you know them just revolving and revolving and revolving until they get to you, you'll actually get to hear David Stern in the first round. Now that's if you get drafted in the first round. If you get drafted in the second round, not too sure about that. That's your problem. <laughs> now, contract negotiations plus spending. Yo, it's all about the money this year, you guys. It's all about the money. Now, when I say it's all about the money, what's going to happen is you're going to negotiate your rookie contract, right? And when you negotiate your rookie contract, when you get that money, you got to spend it on your skills. So basically, say you try to, you know, get a lot from the door and some people say, you know what, we ain't trying to hear all that. They can just give you something small and just leave you alone or you can get something good get the get that money and go right into the gym so you can actually buy like a kobe bryant J or a michael jordan dunk package or something like that if you want to within like your first 20 games now with that being said it's it's, it's going to be very very difficult and when i mean difficult i don't mean like playing a game is going to be harder but to get certain attributes and signatures are going to be harder so uh, when i'm telling you guys now go with the basics until you get enough money to go with you for what you need so if you're a dribbler and you like to dribble to get past people a lot i'm gonna tell you this now it's all about the killer crossover you don't want to be going and trying to get all these dribble moves because dribbling is different this year and i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that later but next Let's, go, let's skip a little bit ahead. You know, also, another thing is, you're going to be getting paid every two weeks. My player mode is now like a job. <laughs> What's going to happen is, you're going to get paid every 14 weeks. I mean, 14 weeks. Every 14 days. And then, after that 14 days, you get to spend your money on certain attribute caps and packages. You can also join youth basketball clinics. Um, you can also get, like certain nba cares and everything the same things that you see on tv that dudes be doing you can actually do this stuff in my player mode but it costs but you know what it does it gets your local fan support up so that's that's one big thing you may need you know you need the fans cheering your name now also hall of fame now when i say hall of fame i don't mean the difficulty 
I mean, you can actually be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. Now, when I say you can be inducted is, based on the position and your play style, you get 15 goals. Now, once you complete these 15 goals, you can choose to retire. Now, you can retire after two seasons if you want. You know, if you're over on 99 by two seasons, maxed out, capped out, you can go ahead and retire as long as you got these 15 goals set. Now, one thing that they did do, they made it a dialogue where you get to actually choose what to say in your speech. Yo, you know, you know, oh my, you know what? My bad. I'm sorry. Let me take a moment. I'm smiling real hard right now because this is crazy. But basically, when you're doing your speech, it's tailored on how you did in your career. Like, say you never won a championship. You can talk about that the whole speech on how you could have became better. You know, people were holding you back. Or if you won that championship, you can say, yeah, my team, they helped me out so much. I want to thank all the fans. It's up to you. Now, another addition. Now, this is where the Hall of Fame comes in effect. Some people say, man, I'm not playing all them seasons. I'm not doing all that nonsense. They made an option on my player mode where you can play the next key game. So, you know, say you go in the first season, you know, most people finish the first season in about, I would say, a month and a half, two months. After you finish that first season, you can choose to play every key game and just skip all the other games. Your dude will still play and still average a certain amount of points depending on how good you are. But I would say play the first 82 games and hopefully go to the playoffs. Because with that, you can actually be a good overall. So when you don't play in the key games, your dude can still average a good game. Because you already know. Some people average 60 to 70 points on Hall of Fame. I'm not going to raise no hands, but you can't see me. <laughs> but uh, it's just something you need to do. Now, let me move on. Endorsements. Endorsements are going to be very, very big this year. You want to know why? Because they don't have the same old Jordan endorsements this year. They have bigger. And when I mean bigger, just look at the pictures as they, they're scrolling past your screen on and on and on. You got billboards. You got magazines. You got commercials. Forget the shoe. You got a commercial. Can you get in the commercial? Wow. Like, uh, we're going to move on. Just just know endorsements are going to be crazy this year. Now, your abilities. Your abilities will be broken down into certain categories. Shooting, layups, dunks, dribbling, and post moves. Now, in each category is a specific skill and move. For example, and if you dribbling and all of that, you can't max out your dribbling, you know, as you get to like an 85 overall. You got to buy those skill points. If you want to size up, if you want to hesitate, crossover, in and out, if you want to spin, if you want to go behind the back, if you want to hit step backs, you have to like raise each of those. You can't just raise everything at the same time. You got to raise one by one. So you already know what I'm going to have. A killer hesitation, a killer crossover, and a killer step back. That's all I need. I don't need to spin. I don't need none of that. But I ain't giving you guys no pointers because I'm going to be great this season. <laughs> now, also... With the whole dribbling thing, when you increase it and your proficiency level goes up and down with each individual skill, like you you may need to upgrade some, you know, just in case like you know your ball security and everything isn't up to par. But I'm telling you, it's gonna cost a lot of skill points. So watch what you spend. That means money. Watch how much you spend. Now, things that you need to know. Alright, dynamic goals. Now, when I say dynamic goals, I don't mean like the, the three goals you get when you start the game. They have a mode where, say, say you're going up against D-Wade. And D-Wade scored two buckets on you straight. A dynamic goal to pop up and say, hey, yo, you need to shut this guy down on the next position possession before he get hot. What? Dynamic. So, that means if I get the dynamic goal, that's more skill points. And guess what more skill points are? more points in a tuck you know I'm a, I'm a, yo I'm gonna be tucking so many points this season like I'm gonna I'm keep y'all updated though as soon as I get the game but I'm gonna be tucking a lot of points now let's move on what we're gonna talk about is uh, the few regular dynamic goals like if you're starting out strong you know make three of your first shots finish strong finish with like 50% at the end of the game foul trouble don't pick up another foul and of course of course clutch so that means score the go-ahead point and win the game. Now the drills, the drills are a little bit different this year. Okay, you still have shooting, you still have the dribble course, but they redid it. Now you have like regular basketball games, knockout around the world, two-man rebounded, post-up screen and re-sign out, fast break, and full court pressure. 
to help you in everything so you know once the mood comes out i mean not the mood but once the game comes on you start the mood i advise you uh turn auto save off and try to play every single drill one by one so you can get a fix on how it's going to be now press conferences wow press conferences this year are not the same old around the way questions they're going to be giving you actual questions on what happened in the game you're going to have more answers like um they won't have like answer with loyalty and arrogance and all that like okay one question an example tonight you made your nba debut coming off the bench were you hoping for more minutes or were you or what is that or was this still a successful beginning in your career now it's going to say it was a good start or i'm disappointed or i'm just not happy here or of course in differences not thinking about that yet now they didn't put you know loyalty professional and all of that but you get the idea on what questions are which now let's see another change into the press conference is like how should i say it's not a right and wrong answer you know some things may get you points in this or some might get you points in that but now let's talk about the player buzz this is one big thing that i was always trying to ask myself last season what's my team chemistry what's my league-wide popularity what's my local fan support how do i find that out well this year you guys they got something called the player buzz and it tells you everything you need to know about your player it, it, I'm telling you, this mode is ridiculous. I'm, I'm online right now going through it. Um, also, they got new milestones. Now, the thing with the milestones are, since your, like, your skills and everything are going to cost so much this season, they actually bumped up how much your milestones are worth. Also, the starting rating. This is one big thing. I might take like a minute on this. Remember when you guys started, you know, 37 to 41 overall, and you were pissed because you couldn't keep up with John Wall, and he was busting you behind the whole time? Well, guess what, you guys? We're going to be starting in the low 60s this year. No more 30 to 40 overalls. We're going to be starting at a 60 and up overall. Wow. You know how much of a... Yo, when I mean 2K has done it this year, they have done it. Now, also, the only thing is upgrading your player is not going to be easy this year because of the rating changes. But, of course, you know, with all, with all due respect, it doesn't matter. Now... Running plays, you can turn the running play option off. You can turn the little blue circle that you can't can't stand. <laughs> you can turn that off whenever you want. Now, also, one thing that they say they have done, but I need to check out on, last but not least, they say they have upgraded the AI of the computer. So no more the White Howard going out to the three-point line looking for a three-point shot you know <laughs> like no more of that so they say they updated the ai and they say they've done everything possible to make this game better some people even say that they've stopped the whole forced out of bound uh glitch and you know things like that but you know we will see you know it may be a couple patches that may need to come out but it a hey, in my book 2k12 will be that deal now, this is IKC signing out. I want to thank you guys for kicking it with me. If you got any questions, please hit up the comment box. And I'm out of here, man. Real talk.